Hey again. Alright, we have another update. We have, um, yeah, got the body welded back onto the floor. And I have painted all the inside like enamel. Um, enamel's good for rust prevention. It also doesn't scratch as easy. And everywhere that this black enamel is, we'll be getting covered in vinyl and carpet. And I actually ran out of paint. I didn't get the roof done. But yeah. But, yeah. I've since it's gone along and uh, bought a muffler I looked at a couple of months ago and bought some bends and I unfortunately couldn't buy all of the bends that I wanted. Uh, these bigger ones here, they're $25 each. There's four of them, there's you know, $100 straight off, another 130 for the muffler. Um, and then there was the, the pipe, it's a piece of straight pipe, so I have a little bit left over over here. And, uh, yeah, so it come to $330 as it was, and fortunately there wasn't, he only had one of these um, join couplings, so I'll put the one on. And over the other side, I've just temporarily put a bit of silicon with a bit of coke can aluminium clamped on for the time being until he, he gets the other ones in. And because, yeah, I'd run a, didn't have enough money to buy all the bins I wanted, I've had to go along and make my own bins. Uh, that was the other piece I bought, the two of those, the... Um, two into one pieces but, Yeah, and so the only way I know of to get a smooth bend without having a pipe bender is to cut a series of V's out of the pipe Close it up weld it back together and uh, So yeah, it's gonna be yeah, quite a bit of work in Cleaning all these welds up making it look a little bit tidy uh, you can see I've cleaned it up a little bit here, so yeah, we'll come up all right. I did this, I used the angle grinder, got it down to you know, half a mil or less, and then at that point, you know, if you keep trying to get a smooth the out, you can very easily make the pipe itself thin around it. So, yeah, I then got the I finished it off with a Dremel. Uh, these are amazing things. Uh, I didn't use the bit that's actually in it. What I used is this piece here. It's a little rubber piece. And, and that, you've hit those sanders. And they, and they're quite good. Last for a fair time. Do a good job. So, yeah, that, that Dremel, I don't know what speed it revolves at, probably says it on there, but it goes incredibly quick, so, yeah, it does a, a rather good job. Yeah. yeah, anyway, so I've got all this hooked up, and uh, I have started, but I'll start it again for you people, and I'm quite happy, it's, it's, it's quite a, a smooth sound, and it's, well and truly quite enough for registration and yeah so I'll come over here and because uh, I still haven't gotten I've figured out how to work GoPro and then download it to YouTube so I'm going to sit the phone here carefully on my desk and we'll go and fire it up
Yeah, as you see, it's quite quiet. It's a fairly smooth sort of sound, and uh, yeah, I'm keen to actually get it wired up and take for a drive. And uh, yeah, that's another story. The Warren, all the original Warren was cactus, so I just threw it all away. And uh, this is the temporary wiring that I made up when I was just driving the floor peeing around, collecting firewood from around the place. And, uh, but of course it won't actually reach now that the body's on. So, yeah, so uh, I'll, to, I'll start with the basics to make it run and then I'll start rewiring everything. What I'm not going to do is earth even anything to the body. Um, I've had so many issues with that over the years and I've also learnt that it actually causes rust. Rust, it's, it puts electrolysis through the body and it can cause rust. So, yeah, everything on this car will have a power lead and an earth lead. The only actual thing I'm going to earth out is the engine itself and I've disconnected the lead from the engine to to the body so yeah anyway that, that's what we're up to so yeah thanks for watching